I, I do think that the increasing concern that we have about immigration, which is absolutely legitimate, is also intensified by just a general sense of homelessness that we have in Britain. And there's no question that this is made all the harder by just how difficult it is to get on the housing ladder. Yeah, the when people own their own properties, they care about the communities that they live in. And when you're having to live in a place of transit, like so many people like me for so long, you end up almost losing faith. You're never feeling at home anywhere. So how, what, would, what do you think we should do to actually help get more people on the housing ladder so that we can actually build communities and homes from scratch again like we did before? It's a demand supply issue. It's very, very simple. We, in a big year, we might build 200, 250,000 houses, something like that. Um, but against the rise of population every year, it doesn't work. I mean, the last time I calculated this, we had to build one new dwelling every four minutes just to cope with legal immigration into Britain. So it gives you an idea of the scale of this. Now, we are going to have to build. There's no question we're going to have to build. We're going to have to have big house building programmes. Possibly the concept of new towns is going to come back. With the housing crisis, whilst importing like a small city's worth of people every single year, but at the same time, there are a lot of people in the rentier sector who are doing very, very well out of shafting young, enterprising people and making those areas worse off as a result because they don't look after them, they don't even interact with the area, and they're doing very well out of this immigration problem as well, not least because they have more customers. Yeah, and need needless to say, the elephant in the room is. Tory developers are doing very, very, very well out of this too. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, the relationship between big business and big government and then who ends up in the House of Lords is something we'll have to discuss another day. Um, but I'm, I, mean, I mean, I'm not just looking, by the way, getting back to the gentleman that asked the question earlier. I'm not just... I mean, for me, this isn't just about replacing the Conservative Party. I think we need a new electoral system. I don't think first past the post is fit for purpose anymore in the 21st century. I think the postal voting list is an absolute disaster, open to fraud, abuse, intimidation. And the House of Lords, stuffed with the mates of a series of prime ministers, I think is an absolute abomination and needs to go. So I am a genuine political radical when it comes to these things.